This bottle was printed commercially in 2019 by Stratasys, then sanded and clear coat finished by me. This bottle was printed in 2023 on my Formlabs Form 3 Plus, also sanded and clear coated by me. We're going to compare the two for clarity and quality, and we're going to see how the resin printed parts stack up to each other. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred backpack hanger in stainless steel and aluminum designed by me holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, holds your keys. It's an incredibly versatile tool. You can use it anywhere in your home or office. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. This video sponsor PCBWay offers 3D printing services. They offer FDM, SLM, DLP, SLA, and SLS. Materials include plastics and metals, such as aluminum, stainless, titanium, and tool steel. They also offer several post processes for your part. Their lead time is pretty short. Check them out for your next project. Link in the description below. Let's take the data and pull it into Formlabs software preform and this slices up the bottle creates all the supports and then it's off to the printer to be printed here it is time lapse of the bottle being printed in the form 3 plus using the clear resin looks nice My Form 3 has this really nice flexible bill plate and the parts pop right off. Drain the resin out of the bottle and will break off the supports. The problem with this bottle is, is that the supports on the inside are a little bit wider than the opening of the bottle. And so I have to cut away the supports so I can get them out. In the form wash, it's cleaning with IPA and there's a little magnetic impeller in the bottom that spins around and agitates the liquid to clean your part. It's all automated, really nice. I'm going to clean out the inside of the bottle with some old toothbrushes to try to make that as clean as possible. Let's put the parts in the form cure. This is form labs curing station. It has UV lights and heat along with this turntable so you can set the heat and the length of the exposure to cure the bottles. I put them in for about 30 minutes and this yellowed them so they are toast and I need to print some new ones. Since I have to print new bottle I'm going to print one bottle at each resolution. 0.1 millimeters, 0.05, and 0.025, and then we'll compare all the three different printing resolutions that are available. So this is the difference, right? This is the 0.1, and then this is the 0.025. And I actually think that the 0.025 one, this one right here, is actually a little yellowed because it took so much longer to print with the laser. And I think the, the laser actually yellows it uh, a very slight amount. I'm going to use a uh, piece of cork. It's very flat, has some flexibility, uh, but since I'm trying to keep a flat surface here, this is what I want. I have different sanding blocks for different applications. I'm using some warm water with some soap and the soap helps break the surface tension. Uh, and it's warm because I don't like sticking my hands into cold water. I'm going to start the sanding process at 320 grit. I wet sand everything. This keeps the dust down and keeps you safe. No dry sanding. And you always, always, always use a sanding block. This gives you good surface quality. Next, we'll switch over to 400 grit wet dry sanding. All right, so after 400 grit sanding, this is what the bottle looks like compared to when it started. You want it to have a nice matte finish so that you don't have any of the original print marks visible on the outside. You can kind of see at the 0.0251, you can see the lines on the inside. 
a little bit more prominent. So we'll we'll see when we get to clear coat if there's going to be a difference and maybe one of these is superior to the other. Who knows? Hard to say. I'm using a two-part clear urethane clear coat from PPG. I'll link to something similar in the description below. The first coat is being sprayed on. It's a very light initial tack coat just to get some urethane on the outside of the bottle. We'll let that flash for just a few moments and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put on a light second layer and then a final third top coat on each of the three of the bottles to build up those layers of clear slowly over time to give you the best result. It doesn't look that awesome at first. The clear needs to flow out a little bit and then it becomes really nice. This is what they look like when they're sort of drying and curing after they've been sprayed. It's starting to look nice. You see those taillights over there? That's a future video. Those are some Lancia taillights that I'm going to duplicate. You want to stick around, make sure you subscribe so you get notified when that video comes out. All right, we need to put some clear on the inside of the bottles. This is what will make the bottles clear and transparent. So let's remove the tape from the clear coat from the outside and get them ready to put the clear coat on the inside. Just mix up some of that same two-part urethane clear coat and we're gonna pour that into the inside of the bottles. Now the key here is to rotate nice and slowly and coat the inside of the bottle well and I rotate the bottles and I'm trying to remove any little air bubbles that are in the clear coat so we can have a nice smooth clean surface on the inside of the bottles. I drain out the clear coat from the inside of the bottle and I place the bottle on some little spacers so that any clear coat that's left in there can drain out of the bottle and so that we can get a nice finish on the inside of the bottle. All right, so this is the bottle from Stratasys that I did several years ago. And you can see the build lines in there, and it's a nice bottle. Now these are the three bottles that we just printed on the Form 3. And you can tell, I don't know if you can see. So you can see the build lines here. You can't see the build lines on any of these really. I also think this one's a little more yellow. These are a little bit more clear. If we put a little bit of text behind the bottle, you can see that the Form 3 bottles are just a little bit easier to read the text through, so a little more transparent. If we look at the bottles at an angle, this is where you can really see the difference in the bottles, right? So the one on the left is the Stratasys one, and you can clearly see how the new bottles that I printed are a lot more transparent. You can see the one on the left, the Stratasys one's a lot more yellow and not nearly as transparent as the Formlab ones. So this is really showcasing that. So this is the 0 0.025 the 0.05 and the 0.1 and then this is the Stratasys bottle. I don't know if you can see this. There's some some sort of weird pattern in this one. You can't see that or I don't see any of that patterning in these form lab ones right here, but this one has this clear sort of pattern and you don't see this until you put the clear coat on actually. If I had to pick the best value for the money, I'd put my money on the 0.05 layer height bottle. It took 16 hours to print and gave me the best results. So clearly that would be where I would go in the future for printing a clear bottle. It's pretty amazing how good resin printing has gotten in the last five years or so. 
I'm certainly very impressed. And the Form 3 is a fantastic machine. I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can get a discount on a Form 3 from Form Labs using my link below to get you a nice $500 discount on a machine. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Bots and Design. I'm now on Blue Sky and unfortunately still on Instagram. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.